Hi. Now for this question, we're asked to solve this modulus inequality. The mod of x is greater than the mod of 2 times x plus 3. And to solve something like this, we can do it two ways. We can either do it by a graphical method, or because both sides are positive values, we could square both sides. Now in this video, what I want to do is show you the graphical solution, and in the next video, I'll show you the squaring method. So when it comes to drawing the graphs of each of these functions, okay, we'll just draw up our axes. Because they're modulus equations, they're always going to be positive values, so we're never going to go below the x-axis. So for the graph of mod x, we should be familiar with that. If it was just simply y equals x, it would be a straight line going something like this all the way down. Okay, But when you get the negative values, it, they become positive, so you get something like that. Okay, So that's the graph then of y equals the mod of x. For the mod of 2 lots of x plus 3, if we were to expand this, we would get 2x plus 6. And the line y equals 2x plus 6 would be a line with a gradient of 2 going through plus 6. So if we imagine that's 6, okay, we've got a very steep line going something like this. But as soon as it gets to the x-axis, it's reflected up, okay, something like that. So we get the graph then of y equals the mod of two lots of x plus 3. Now, this point here, this is the point where y equals 0 for this bit here. And when y is 0, you'd have x equaling minus 3. So this point here is minus 3. Let's look at the points where the two graphs intersect. Okay. Let's call them A and B. Now what we're looking for is essentially where the red graph is greater than the green graph. In other words, where the y values for the red graph are above the y values for the green graph. And that's going to be in this section here between A and B. So what we need to do is essentially find the x value at A and the x value at B. And then we just want to then take any of those x values in that region there. So how do we find out what A is? So at A, it's going to be the intersection of this graph coming down here with this part of the green graph. Well, this one coming down here would be the graph of y equals minus x. So we've got minus x equaling, and this part of the graph is the negative version of this. So it's going to be minus 2 lots of x plus 3. And so if we solve this then, just by expanding the bracket on the right-hand side, we've got minus x equals minus 2x minus 6. And if we add 2x to both sides, we end up with 2x minus x, which is x, equals minus 6. So this point here, OK, has an x coordinate of minus 6. Now we need to get the value of the x coordinate at b. And so let's just section that off there. And at b, we're looking for the intersection then of the red graph, this part of the red graph, which is y equals minus x, equaling this section of the green graph. And this one is the positive version of this. So that's going to be two lots of x plus 3. And so if we expand the bracket again here, we've got minus x equals 2x plus 6. And if I rearrange this, let's say we add x to both sides and subtract 6 from both sides, you're going to get minus 6 equals 3x. And so therefore, if I divide both sides by the 3, you end up with x equaling minus 6 divided by 3, which is minus 2.
So we can see that the x coordinate b here is minus 2. So the solution is going to be that x must lie between minus 6 and minus 2. And there's the graphical way of going about that.